nice tower. Doesn't resemble anything I know. <laughs> the comment section in this video is gonna be freaking ridiculous. It will. It will it's definitely just like, be. I'm gonna arch it over right towards the camera. <laughs> What's up and welcome to an episode of Gizmo Slip and I am wearing a hat. I know you're gonna see this right through and you're like, what the heck is he wearing a hat for? <laughs> this is the new merch, guys. New awesome flat bills in the store as well as this sweet new t-shirt with the GS. So for those of you that are fans of the show, there's now merch down below and there's a 30% off coupon as well. I'll have the coupon code down below that will only be available temporarily. So you're gonna wanna snag that while you can. For today's video, we've got a super strong 600 pound pull force neodymium magnet, and we've got some strange attractor super magnetic putty. Yeah, this stuff is crazy. It is, it is very crazy. So if you've seen videos on magnetic ferrofluid, then this is like that, but in putty form. And then we're also gonna be taking these guys and we're gonna put them around an iPhone 10, and then we're gonna put this blob of magnetic putty on that iPhone, it should be really cool. Basically, we're gonna let nature make its own iPhone 10 case today. Without further ado, let's get magnetizing. The goal is to attach as many of these magnets to the iPhone 10 as we can, and then we're gonna let the magnetic putty try to crawl to it and crawl on it. See if it actually attaches itself and stays attached. We are ready to apply a wall of magnets to the iPhone. Voila. Okay, so we got our magnets set up. It's time to see how the magnetic putty reacts to being placed on all these magnets. It's time to enter time-lapse mode. Oh, oh man. <laughs> it's just like... That's quite the movement. <laughs> death's embrace or something, dude. It is gnarly looking. Kind of reminds me of like the flood goop. Oh like, hey, yeah. Oh, it's like... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Pretty, Pretty cool. Much. That looked, that looked pretty sick though. Okay, so we've let it mold itself overnight. The putty has moved onto nearly every magnetic surface. The only ones it didn't move onto were these two ones on the far side here. So if you look carefully, you'll see these little magnetic spikes. They're especially visible on certain sections like right here. Those are the same spikes that you get on ferrofluid and basically the magnetic iron inside of the putty is shaping to the magnetic fields that's coming off the magnets. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take the putty off of this bad boy. <laughs> oh, nice. I don't really like talking about myself. Where is your makeup apparently is what I thought we asked. <laughs> My apologies. You better be sorry. <sighs> Noted. <laughs> <laughs> what? So now that we've got the magnetic putty off, let's see how magnetic putty handles with this giant monster 600 pound pull force magnet. That'll be kind of um, cool actually. It'll start as a tower and then it'll just kind of seep down and around. So we're gonna go ahead and time lapse this and see what happens to the magnetic putty with this huge magnet. So here we go. Nice tower. Doesn't resemble anything I know. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not phallic at all. No, not at all. <laughs> oh my god, it's arching so much. Mm -hmm. The comment section in this video is gonna be freaking ridiculous. It will, it will it's definitely like, be. I'm gonna arch it over right towards the camera. <laughs> That's bad. That's so bad. <laughs> Taking a bow, I see. <laughs> it's like a giant mullet wig. Imagine this is your face, and then wig, and then mullet. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at it, it's like completely enveloping the whole magnet now. And this only took about 25 minutes. This ridge right here, I can move it with my fingers and it just pops right back to where it was. So for this next experiment, we've got six strings of magnetic putty and we're gonna see with a time lapse how this magnetic putty reacts. Whoa, it just kind of sucks to it. It looks like a you bunch can... of leeches just kind of like trying to attach themselves. It's true. And then you can, like if you look close, you can see the magnetic fluid just siphoning over to it. You can really see just how much more powerful it gets closer and closer to the magnet. Like it stretch, starts to stretch so thin, like it gets yeah, just a lot more, a lot more power to it. This looks pretty crazy. Holy crap. That looks so cool. It's like a ferrofluid ball. It looks like a brain. You can see the magnetic fields just so much more dramatically. Whoa, it lifted the magnet up. There's actually, it looks, the magnet was off the ground. 
Yep. This reminds me of this. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember his name. He's like a, he's a, a, an evil villain who is just a brain inside of like a mech suit. This, this is like a little magnetic Krang. This is like if Krang had gone zombified. So I guess we'll try that. Wow. Oh, that's a lot faster. <laughs> Look at that. It's already moving up. The edges are just kind of coming together right now. I was not ready for the time lapse. That was very impressively quick. That only took about two minutes. Yeah! I think. <laughs> Holy, that's got so much power to it. That's ridiculous. So. I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's trying to kill me. Oh God. <laughs> Bravo. So uh, for our last experiment, we're gonna be putting all this magnetic putty together on the magnet and we're gonna leave it overnight and we're gonna see what kind of like magnetic shapes it can take on. I think it's gonna get a little bit more rigidy and a little bit more elongated, a little more pronounced. So let's take a look. It's the next morning. This thing looks gnarly as all get out. Like what in the world? It's smoothed out along this band here and then got super poofy on the very top. Let's try lifting this thing up and seeing how the bottom is. I think the bottom of the magnet will be completely lifted up by the putty. Yes, it is. Let's see how deep the putty is here. Oh. <laughs> it, the magnet is actually really close to the top, a lot closer than I thought it was. Wow, oh my goodness, that is deep. <laughs> And it really, those ridges didn't really show up until we left it for 24 hours. I feel like I'm destroying a work of art or something. <laughs> this thing is just really attractive. <laughs> ah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. We'll see you next time. Brandon, out.